Hi all, good evening. This is Seth here from Smithy Technologies, and today I would be starting a series of Hadoop and Spark developer certification using Python. Okay, let's go to the first scenario. So this scenario is saying find the employee count and cost to company for each group consisting of department, cadre, and state. So what I need to do is I need to find employee count and cost to company for this group. This is the data set which has been provided and this is the output which I want. Okay, let's make a move. What I'll go, what I'll do, what I'll do is I'll go to my data sets folder, quickly see my sales.txt file is available or not. Yes, this is available. And let me copy this file and uh, move to my C7754 folder. Let's change the directory to C7754 folder and the sales.txt file should be available beautiful so this file is available on my edge node what i will do is i will put this file from my edge node to my hadoop file system so hdfs dfs hyphen put okay uh, the file name is nothing but my sales.txt and i need to put this on hadoop so that's why i'm writing localhost colon 9000 Okay, the path, so the path is nothing but user, save, Hadoop file system, CCA underscore 175 and the directory name is nothing but input. And let's execute this. Okay, so there's no error, it means the file has been put. Let's quickly verify the file is available under this path. Okay, so let's go over HDFS, DFS, hyphen LS and that file should be available. Okay, so if you see this file is available which is nothing but my sales.txt okay so I would be reading this file from here okay so let me quickly copy this so that I can write my syntax so I'll be using sublime text sublime editor to write my code and quickly do copy paste okay so that if any errors are coming I can quickly eradicate or change those and do them. okay so this is the path where my file is kept okay my PySpark is up and running I'm using PySpark 3.0.1 one version with a Python 3.8 okay and I have spark available so what I would be doing is I would be solving this scenario in two ways okay in two approaches so the first approach would be uh, using a data frame and the second approach would be my SQL queries okay so let me write over here okay so so the first one is using data frame okay so let's solve using the data frame and this is the hdfs path where my file is kept okay so let's write so sales data frame equals to spark dot read dot format okay and the format is nothing but my csv and uh, there are a couple of things which i need to inherit that is the first thing is nothing but option okay so the first one is nothing but header okay so I need to inherit that so that's why I'm writing option header as true okay then uh, I would be inferring the schema so again option and infer schema so it can take key value so let me give it true cool. and finally I should have my load okay so the path from where I should have so I already have this path copied so let me quickly copy this path and paste it over here and let's execute this on my PySpark terminal. Okay. So this is getting executed and uh, let's wait. Okay. So there's no error. So let's copy this and quickly do a show and let's see five records, not more than that. Okay. So we are able to see the data. So it means that we have read the file from Hadoop file system and it is converted to a data frame. Now what I need to do is I need to create, I need to do, so if we go to the scenario, we need to create a group of these three columns and on the basis of that, I need to do count and cost to company. Okay. So I need to create a group and here I need to do some aggregation. So these are the two things which I would be performing. Okay. So let me quickly just go over here and write the code okay and then I would do quickly copy and paste so what I need to do is I need to let's give any name so sales group data okay what is my previous data frame name that is nothing but my sales data frame 
from this data frame what i need to do is i need to create a group okay right group of three columns right so what i'll do simply i will try to apply a group by okay and the three columns what are those three columns the three columns are nothing but my department cadre and state okay so this is these are the three columns so what i would do is i would just write column over here okay and this will be coming in double quotes so same way let me just cut this let me write call keyword and inside that this and the final is state let me cut this call keyword okay and let me write uh, let me paste this okay and uh, if you want to verify you can just verify your piece of code but in certification you don't get much time so you need to be efficient while writing your code and you need to be very crystal clear what are you writing and what are the things you get so i know like i have created a group of these through these three now what i would be doing is simply i would be doing a aggregation okay so let me just make it to the new line okay let me write aggregate okay the first thing is i need to remove count okay the employee count so let me just write count okay and my uh, column name would be on uh, what basis i need to get my count so that is nothing but department cadre and state okay so employee count i need to find so maybe like what i can do simply i can say count of department is also fine because for each department there will be like a uh, employee okay so i can take that as well so even that is fine with me so let me take that count of department and let me alias this alias okay and we'll say this is employee count okay let's write that and after this what i need to do is uh, the count is done i need to write a sum okay so the column name is nothing but cost to company i guess okay so if you see yes the column name is cost to company so let me write cost to company c o m p a n y okay and let me alias this as well dot alias and let's name this name as uh, what you can say is let's say cost to company okay even that is good okay so what i have done i have created a group of three columns and i have done my count and i have done my sum okay is there any need of doing some order by okay so if you see the data yes on the basis of employee count okay so it's like by default is ascending so let me go and let me quickly write and i think because here the news is that starting so i should have given dot okay so let me give dot order by and i would say let me quickly copy this employee count so on the basis of that i just need to sort my data okay so this is it so i think this should be fine let's execute this and let's see what are the what is the output okay let's run this okay it is telling this call not defined okay why this is telling is because we need to import that okay so let's quickly import that from pyspark okay so from pyspark dot sql dot functions okay i need to import call okay so let's quickly copy this and let's paste this okay so that package is imported let's quickly copy this again and let's write this again now it is telling count so i need to import count also i could have done this in one go also but i wanted to show you how the errors are coming and how you can solve this and you need to be very clear what package is required what method is required for that purpose i'm just showing you otherwise i would have written this but you wouldn't have got to know clearly and why i'm writing so i'm just trying to show you with errors so that we understand it very nicely let me do that and the last thing is so if you see this now why this we are getting is because it is telling us it is not able to do some concatenation one is having integer and the other is having string so what i am assuming is if you see and uh, what we have done is so if you see this for sum this is the sum which i am trying to perform but here i am having as 
a string so this is a string and this is an integer hence that's why it is throwing me an error so let me quickly do the sum let me copy this let me paste this clear of the screen and finally now this should run seamlessly and we should get the data frame if you see no output uh, sorry no errors let me quickly go over here and just see show so it is getting output cool so we have got the result what we wanted in just two three four steps let's quickly paste this over here and quickly verify so if you see sales training uk so do we have sales training uk yes we do have so the count is one and the cost to company is twelve thousand okay so we are getting it beautiful so with a data frame we are able to achieve this scenario okay so the first method was using data frame and we have clearly achieved this so now the second method is nothing but the spark sql let's do that with spark sql and for with spark sql it becomes very easy so you just need to write queries okay cool so if you see the data frame is already created for us which is nothing but sales data frame right so what i would do is but in certification you need to go with any of the method which you are comfortable okay I, I i always go with my dsl which is nothing but domain specific language i don't go with sparse sql because i am familiar to all my dsl methods hence i go quickly with that but there's no harm you can go in any way okay cool so we already have that table so what we will do is quickly we will create a pem table how to create so we just need to write create or replace temp view okay and here you need to give some table name so i'll give sales table okay let me and i would just write spark dot sql and i would write a small query that is nothing but select star from sales table okay and quickly i would just show the records let me copy this let's come to the PySpark terminal clear of the screen and let's hit this table is created and we are able to see the entire data frame data now in a tabular format okay which is a temporary table okay now we'll try to write a SQL query okay let's do that so spark dot SQL okay I'll be writing my query in multi-line method so hence I'm trying to do triple three code so that everything will be right cool so what I want so on the basis of three columns right so this is the grouping and this is the aggregation which we need to achieve same thing i would be doing over here okay let's do that so select the first column is nothing but department the second is cater so it's plain in front of you only okay so department cater and the last column is nothing but your state okay after this column what you, what you need to do you need to do employee count right so what you can write a simple count of the column that is nothing but department and you can alias this as let's say employee count okay that is done and then what we want sum of cost to company right let's do that as well so let me write sum okay and the column name is nothing but my cost to company correct so let me write that cost to company let me copy the column name from here and let me paste this and i would just say i'll just copy this so that my as and paste this okay let me remove this let me remove this okay so these are the three columns on which my group will be performed okay i'm removing the count okay i'm then removing the uh, sum of cost to company okay so the one mistake which i have made so i'm just going with my dsl method so this should not have been there okay so what is my table name from sales table right cool i have done that okay after that what i need to do quickly i just need to write a group by okay so what are the three columns on which i need to do i can write one two three or simply i can say group by and after that finally i just need to write order by so order by is nothing but we can just say employee count okay and we can quickly say show and i'll be getting my results let's copy this let's go over here and execute this 
okay so it is telling us error what it is telling is it is telling us something which is saying that order by employee count okay so let's see so we have an issue over here it seems to be let's verify that okay so employee underscore count okay is it not able to take that which means that it should take so let me quickly verify the SQL query so select a department cater state that's fine count of department okay that is also fine and this is like a count okay that is employee counter department count it, that does not matter sum of cost to company okay and that is as cost to company okay and uh, that is fine from sales table even that is fine then I'm trying to apply a group by if you see the mistake is over here why because I'm used to my DSL method so in SQL so this is how we write so that's just a small problem which I have but no issues let's quickly copy this let's go your spark SQL PySpark terminal which is a REPL mode and let's execute this cool we got the output let's copy this and paste okay and let's verify the result again so we have something like let's go to the original data HR manager India 158,000 can you see HR manager India 158,000 okay so this is how we have achieved the first scenario okay that is nothing but which comes in CCA 175 certification so you should be very clear with all your syntaxes all your methods whether you are appearing for Scala Spark or PySpark, you should be very clear and you should be good in REPL method. Okay, so you should be able to play with your REPL mode. That's why I play with the REPL mode and Sublime Editor. Okay, so this is how this is the first scenario and I'll be coming with multiple scenarios. Do subscribe to my channel and keep watching. Thank you for watching this. This is Seth signing off and take care. Bye.